Hey everyone, so today we'll be showing you how to switch out your Joy-Con shells into new ones. Woohoo! So we bought some new ones from Extreme right here, and with the kit, you will receive your new Joy-Con shells, some extra screws, a screwdriver, and some new buttons. In this tutorial, we'll try not to remove anything that doesn't need to be removed, for example, the battery or some of these ribbons, just so everything will be more simplified. And we will be jumping straight into it with the left Joy-Con, which we recommend you start with first. The very first step is to remove the four screws from the back frame. Before you do that, we do highly recommend you magnetize your screwdriver. We'll link down below how you can do that. And when you're removing any of the screws here, be careful not to force your screwdriver because that'll strip the screws and damage them. Step two is to open your Joy-Con. Make sure you open it from this side shown here as there's ribbons connecting the Joy-Con frame on the other side. After that's done, you can change your screwdriver. Once your screwdriver is changed, remove the one silver screw which holds together the rail to your back frame and remove the back frame, keeping the button in there. Step five, remove your battery. There might be some stickiness, so just be gentle and wiggle it around. Step six, remove the three gold screws holding the middle frame. Once again, being careful not to strip your screws. Once that's done, remove your middle frame, being careful of the ribbon holding it together with the main motherboard. And step eight is to remove the two silver screws holding the main frame. Once that's done, remove the three silver screws from the top of the Joy-Con here. Once they are removed, you can remove your L button and remove the two gold screws holding the joystick in place. Also, remove the rumble part from the bottom. This also might be a little sticky, so just be patient and wiggle it around until it comes up. And once that's all done, remove your mainframe. Now this is a little tricky, it is very sticky, so be patient and wiggle it out gently. Do not force anything. And here are all the parts separated. It might look a little intimidating, but they fold together nicely. Step 14 is to remove your buttons, uh, making sure they fly all over the place, and remove the dust cover. The dust cover is very sticky, so also patience. Patience is key. Be very patient with this. And all right, step 16, add all your buttons back in, add your new fancy buttons or the same old buttons that you've got. So that's the plus sign and the home button. Also the little covers holding it in place and the dust cover goes right back in. Now the ZL button is a huge headache, takes forever to rip off and your springs will fly everywhere, so just be patient. And once that's done, remove the one silver screw holding the middle frame to the motherboard. Once that's done, insert your motherboard into your new frame. Carefully line everything up, making sure everything is in place, making sure everything is flat and nice. Put your rumble part back in. Step 20, reinsert the two silver screws holding the mainframe. Once that's done, reinsert the two gold screws holding the joystick together and reattach the three silver screws holding these ribbons on the top. Once those are put in, reinsert your L button, making sure the spring lines up to the little part there and that it clicks. Alright, step 24, reattach the frame. So put the ribbon back in and insert one silver screw. Now the ZL button again, oh goodness. So line up these two bumps with the two springs in the holes. This will take a lot of patience. And once you push it into place, make sure the springs are straight. And if they're bended, gotta redo it. Step 26, reinsert your middle frame, making sure everything is flat and all the holes line up. Step 27, reinsert the three gold screws. So the top left, bottom right, and the very sneaky one in the corner. Step 28, reinsert your battery. Quite simple, just look at where the wire goes and put it back in. And then take the button from the old frame into your new frame and reattach the slider to your new back frame. One silver screw to hold it all together and close your frame. Making sure everything is flat and nice. Then 
reinsert your four screws. And you are done. And that's the first one ready to go. Okay, so next up is the right Joy-Con with the first step being to remove the four screws from the back. So the steps in the right Joy-Con are almost exactly the same as the left Joy-Con. However, it's a little more complicated, which is why we recommend you do the left one first, just so you can get used to taking apart and putting back together a Joy-Con. Step two is to open your Joy-Con frame. Now you can either use a pick or your fingers, whatever is easiest, and gently pry it open. If you've never opened your Joy-Con before, it is a little tougher the first time around, so just be patient and make sure when you open your Joy-Con to open it from this side here to avoid the ribbons on the other side. Now the next step is to switch out your screwdriver. Now once that's done, remove the one silver screw. This screw holds the slider to the back frame. And once the screw is gone, remove the back frame completely. There is a button in your back frame. Keep your button in the frame just so you don't lose it or put it aside somewhere where you will find it later. Step five is to remove your battery. Now, do not remove it like this. Just be a little more gentle. There is some adhesive, so you might have to wiggle it around just to get it out. Step six is to remove the three golden screws, as you can see here. those are removed, you can remove the middle frame and the antenna on the side. Now take note, there is a ribbon holding the middle frame to the main frame, so just gently put the frame to the side like this. Step 8 is to remove the two silver screws holding the main frame. Alright, now after that's done, remove the two gold screws holding your joystick in place. Those are gone you can gently remove your rumble part there is also adhesive here so once again just practice some patience now we opted not to remove any ribbons or any parts just for simplicity's sake but if you wanted to the rumble part is the white one here and the battery is the black you can just pull them out step 11 is to remove your motherboard now the motherboard is quite sticky so with some patience gently pry it out of the frame and as you can see here, there is a additional black plastic piece that is attached to the Joy-Con. So once the main frame is removed, you want to unattach the frame underneath. So just remove the IFR sensor and gently wiggle out the black tape. We recommend you either use tweezers or your fingers, whatever is easier, just gently lift it out. That's done, remove the dust cover. This also needs some patience as it's quite sticky. And here is the frame all in one piece. It looks kind of terrifying, but it folds nicely as you can see here. Leaving everything in was a little easier on the brain for us. We didn't have to reattach things later on, so we just kept everything in. Now the next step is to remove all the buttons from your Joy-Con. You can just dump them all out. And there is the empty shell. Step 13 is to remove the R button. This one's a little tricky. You just have to pull it out, but it's stuck in there. So once you do pull, your springs will fly everywhere. So just be careful. Step 14 is to remove the silver screw holding the ribbon. Now this ribbon connects your middle frame to the main frame. remove it like that and here is the inner parts of your Joy-Con. <laughs> Step 15 is to add all the buttons back in and the little cover. And put the dust cover back in as well. Make sure the holes line up. Step 17 is to reinsert your frame and motherboard. So gently line up the black frame first, making sure the sensor part is neatly lined up. And then fold over the main frame. Um, you can put them in together already folded, but we wanted to make sure the black piece was in there correctly. Now put your joystick in place, make sure everything is flat and everything is lining up before putting in your IFR or your sensor piece and your rumble piece. And you can move the battery out of the way. Step 18 is to reinsert the two silver screws 
holding the mainframe down. Once those two silver screws are in, now you can reinsert the two golden screws holding your joystick in place. And here you can reinsert the antenna cable that we removed earlier. Just push it down and it should click into place. Step 21 is to reattach your middle frame with that one silver screw. Now reattaching the ZR button is a headache, so you line up the two springs and make sure the two bumpers go into the springs and push down. If the springs aren't straight, you'll have to take it out and redo it. Step 23 is to reattach the R button. So once again, just line up the spring and push down. This one should click into place. And once that is in, close your middle frame. And here you can see the antenna tucks into there, but we still have a couple more steps before we recommend you doing that. Step 25 is to reinsert your three golden screws. Once those are in, reinsert your battery. And take your button from the old frame into your new frame. And reattach the RL slider to your back frame with one silver screw, making sure everything lines up. Now secure your antenna on the side there and close your frame. Make sure when you're closing your frame that the ribbons aren't poking out and that they sit nicely. And once you close your frame, it should be nice and flat. Now the last step is to reinsert your four screws. And then you are done! Now you have new shells and they look quite lovely, I would say. The process took a little longer than we thought it would, but honestly, it was definitely well worth it because the look of the shells is way cleaner than having a skin. And we were also able to customize the buttons while we were changing out the shells. So here it is on the Switch. It's definitely a completely different look and much, much smoother than a skin. Thank you so much for watching. We hope this tutorial helps you. And if you give this a try, please tag us on Instagram and let us know how it goes. Bye!